for me, I think there's a, th th there's a distinct separation between two sorts of problems. There are these nice, elegant, mathematically solvable problems, right? Um, they're, they're the problems which I sometimes refer to as, you know, these were kind of mankind starter for 10 problems, right? The, the, the gravity, for example, right? There's nice, simple equations which will deal with gravity, at least in, in, the, in the low gravitational field case. And you can set problems and you can follow those through mathematically to a solution. Um, and that's straightforward. It develops physical skills, it develops uh, physical intuition skills, it develops mathematical skills. But an awful lot of real world problems are not like that. And no real world problem is like that when you start, okay? When people were first thinking about gravity, there was a whole mass of apparently unconnected facts. And for me, what research led teaching is about is how you embed those skills to deal with a disparate collection of facts and attempt to bring them together into some sort of cohesive um, theory about what's going on, or arrange those facts in, in a particular way, which makes it look like, or make, more than makes it look like, actually is an intellectual framework in which, things, um, in which you can interpret things. So that in itself is largely actually about teaching the research skills. And those are really, really difficult to teach, right? Um, one of the most um, challenging things I think I teach is in the laboratories where a student will come with a problem. If you're teaching this right, this is a problem which may have solutions, but you're not forcing the student into any particular solution. You often don't know what the answer to the problem is, right? If a student has a piece of equipment which doesn't work, it is very, very easy to go in and fix it for them. And that's not what it's about. What you've got to do is you've got to lead the student through the series of stages that you are going to, going to go through in order to come to a solution. It might mean, okay, and, and this is why it's difficult, because you're having to think on two levels at once. You're having to think about, am I actually going to solve this, this problem so the student can make progress? But also, am I showing them this correct set of intellectual skills for how, how to get to a place? So the place, I guess, that I am most caught, right, the, the place in which you can't actually, in, in some way, almost teach them in the way that you like, is if you're working on a telescope at three o'clock in the morning, and the telescope is not behaving in the way that you want it to behave, right? Telescope time typically costs like a dollar a second, okay? And you have a graduate student next to you, and you have to fix a problem as quickly as possible. You are probably going to use your intuition to say, let's try this, okay? In order to, and, and you may or may not be right, but there's a reasonable chance you will be right, and that will be the correct solution. And the student will have learned nothing if you go th through that route. You have to teach them a way of thinking, OK, let's think our way, say, through the optical chain of the telescope. Let's think why we might not be getting light on. Let's think about what we did at dusk when we set the telescope up um, and think it through that way and hope that that way you will get to the solution and have taught the student the useful skills so that in the future they'll be able to troubleshoot what's going on. The other thing you can do in, in situations like that is... Um, almost arrange for there to be a crisis, right? Um, when you actually disappear out of the control room and go and get a cup of tea can be a very useful weapon <laughs> um, for teaching students how to do things because you know what's going to happen next and they have to be left alone to see if they can cope with it. So that to me is, is, is really what the research-led teaching is about. It's getting them into a position that they are going to be able to do this stuff themselves, which is different from being able to go through the nice, neat intellectual problems.